Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, our question is: If the length and breadth of a room are increased by one meter, the area is increased by twenty-one square meters. If the length is increased by one meter and breadth is decreased by one meter, the area is decreased by five square meters. Find the perimeter of the room. So this is our question as always. So first, we write: Let the Length is equal to x, and write let the breadth is equal to y. So we take the length and breadth as x and y. So therefore, area will be length into breadth. So x into y, that will be x y. So at first, it is given that. If the length and breadth of the room are increased by one meter, so increased by one meter, so therefore we write increased length and breadth is equal to so length is x, it is increased by one, so x plus one, this is the length, and x sorry y plus one. This is the breadth. So this is the length and this is the breadth after increasing. So therefore, their area will be. So original area is x y. So now it is increased by twenty one. So x y plus twenty one. So this can be written as x plus one. Y plus one is equals to x y plus twenty one. You can write it like this. So now this one, two numbers we multiply that x plus one multiplied by y plus one. So it will be x squared. Sorry, sorry, not x squared. So x y plus x plus y plus one. It will be become like this. X plus one multiplied by y plus one. It will become x y plus x plus y plus one. This equals to x y plus twenty one. So x y and x y cut out, and finally x plus y will be equal to. So this one, if we take to this side, so it will become minus. So twenty one minus one, x plus one is equal to twenty. So this is will be our equation number one. So now if remember equation number two. So in equation number two, it is given the length is increased by one meter and the breadth is decreased by one meter. The Area is decreased by five, so therefore, I am directly writing. So length is increased by one, so x plus one, and breadth is decreased by one, so y minus one. So the area will be five times decreased. Sorry, sorry, five square meters decreased. So x y minus five. So this also simplified. So x plus one and y minus one. So if I multiply it, it will become x y plus y minus x minus one. So x plus one multiplied by y minus one, it becomes x y plus y minus x minus one, and x y minus five. So here also x y and x y cut out. So y minus x is equal to so minus one. Minus one. If we will take to this side, it will become plus. So minus five plus one. That will be minus four. So now we rearrange this like this. Minus x plus y is equals to minus four. So we can write it like this only. That minus x plus y is equals to minus four. And this will be our equation number two. So now we will add both equations like this. Adding both equations, so x plus y is equal to twenty, and minus x plus y is equal to minus four. So x plus minus x, that means x minus x, that will be cut out. So y plus y, that will be two y, and twenty minus four, it will become sixteen. So y is equal to sixteen by two. 
so we take two to this side it will come a sixteen by two that will be eight so eight meter so now with this information you will find out the value of x for that we need to take any of the equations let we will take equation number one only so our equation number one is x plus y is equal to twenty but here we got the value of y so we will write like this x plus so y is eight we got it so x plus eight will be twenty and here x will be equal to twenty minus eight eight will come to this side and it will become minus so twenty minus eight that will be twelve so x will be twelve so length that is x we got that is twelve meter and breadth that is y we got it eight meter so twelve meter and eight meter we got so now from this we can easily calculate the perimeter so therefore perimeter of a rectangle is equal to two into length plus breadth so two into length is twelve and breadth is eight so twelve plus eight so two into twenty that will be forty meter so the perimeter of a rectangle is 40 meter so this is the final answer for this question so guys thanks for watching this video and please subscribe my channel for more solution like this